Hey y'all, this is going to be a mostly rambly, mostly unscripted video. I just want to get something out there. Uh, the gameplay in the background is not Payday 3, it is Warhammer Darktide, and that is kind of part of the issue, is I didn't even feel like playing Payday 3 to get footage for this video. There's no real reason long term to play it, and that is a very, very big issue that we're gonna get into. The current situation that Payday 3 is in is honestly the worst that the game has ever, ever been in. I think this is actually worse than the launch situation. So much has happened in the last week and so much new information has come out that it has made me genuinely scared for the future of this franchise and this game. I'm going to go over everything that happened chronologically so we can set up a timeline and I'm going to be summarizing this like... A lot if you want more information I will link a lot of the stuff in the description the first major thing that happened was Connor Shaw's new video and this is an amazing watch if you were somewhat interested in the history of payday overkill starbreeze I, I recommend it as someone that knew the history of this a lot and like knew a lot about Bo Anderson and even a lot of uh, the stuff involving crime boss um, I still learned a lot of information, and I recommend it to everyone, but uh, one of the scariest pieces of information that I learned was at the end of this video. At the end, Connor goes into a sort of like speculation about uh, something involving a deal between Starbreeze and Digital Bros. Basically, Payday 3 needs to prove that it is profitable by December 2024 or else Digital Bros, the parent company that owns Starbreeze, is very likely to cut support for the game. Basically, a deal back from when Starbreeze bought the rights to the Payday franchise is that they owe a third of Payday 3's profits until they reach $40 million. So, if they are not able to reach this figure, and they are not able to prove that Payday 3 is profitable, it is likely that the parent company will cut support for the game and probably sell the IP because unlike Payday 2 that has very very little investment cost to keep running and it'll just keep printing the money as we will see from something later Payday 2 is still making a bunch of money despite the almost non-existent investment there hasn't been new content in over a year but it's still making Starbreeze a bunch of money while Payday 3 isn't making that much more money and this is the year it came out, so the year everyone bought it. And it also costs more to keep running be uh, with both development costs and server fees. So if Digital Bros thinks that it is more valuable to just cut development, cut all investment into it, and just sell the IP, they will do it. They are a company. They only care about making money. Now the next big thing that happened shortly after Connor's video was Starbreeze released the Q3 2024 report, and the big takeaway from this is that Payday 3 is going to have a significantly lower level of investment, which means that basically, it's just going to get even less support than the little support it already has. The slow rate of updates is going to get even slower. Most of the workers at Starbreeze are moving from Payday 3 to Project Baxter, so the very little investment is even less. It, 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 I, I just don't know what to say. Then today, uh, November the 15th, a new blog post came out on the Payday 3 site, and it basically says content is just going to take longer to come out, updates are going to be even more delayed. All of this together, this is not good. <laughs> Every, everything together. Players don't really have a reason to keep playing long-term. There's no real long-term investment, no real big things to work towards. There isn't really that much replayability, so people only really come back when there's new content. But as we have just gone over, content is going to take even longer to come out. So if people aren't playing and aren't buying, the game is not going to be profitable. Its profitability is going to be even less than it currently is. Which means it is likely, I, I genuinely think it is likely, that Digital Bros will just cut support for Payday 3 early and just sell the IP. Especially if Baxter flops. We don't really know exactly what's going on there's still a lot of information that isn't publicly available for all we know maybe payday 3 actually is profitable and that they have started paying off this 40 million dollar debt that they owe 
but from an outsider looking in, it's basically Payday 3 it needs to magically become profitable and prove that it is able to become profitable enough to keep up soon by like December, so a month, or else I genuinely think it is likely that the IP is going to have some major, major changes. The majority of this figure of Payday 3's profit is from people buying the game. It's not the people buying the DLCs and stuff. So if we don't buy the game again, because in year two, you're not gonna buy the game again, yeah, you'll get new players, but the majority of your money comes from the new content that people are paying for. So if there isn't that much content, and if your content output rate is getting slowed down even more, that means less money. So the game is going to become less profitable. And I just feel so bad for the people working at Starbreeze. It is not their fault. It is 100% the higher ups fault at like Deep Silver and 505 Digital Bros. It's everyone other than the developers, I, I will blame. I feel so bad for Almir, Andreas, and Mio. Like, they're just trying their hardest to make a game that they are passionate about, but everything is just going so horrible for them. If the game launched in early access, even as is in early access, it would have been so much better, but people still would have like complained because they had to rush out a product before it was like anywhere near finished. When I think of other games that were in early access for like years and years that have come out and are really good, two examples come to mind. Those being Killing Floor 2 and Outlast Trials. Both of these games were in development for a very long time and had a very, very long, multi-year long early access periods. And even their first ever early access launches were in a better state than Payday 3's launch. Not just in like having like a lot of content, like it's arguable the uh, content amount, but in just the actual playability of the game, way less technical problems. So I, I really genuinely think that Payday 3 is just a product of p evil publishers that just want the money. They don't care about the developers. They're working them so hard. And they don't care about the players, they don't care about the IP, they just want to see the number in their wallets go up. And I feel so bad for everyone at the Payday team, I feel so bad for Starbreeze. This is just not good. And I'm, and I'm scared for the future of this game.